So what is Web 1, 2 and 3? We are entering the third generation of the internet, Web 3. And it's a group of technology that encompasses digital assets, blockchain, tokens and DAOs. And together, these tools enable new forms of human collaboration. In Web 1, we saw the rise of the internet itself. And when we jumped to the mid 1990s, when the internet became commercial, we never could have imagined where we stand today. The tools that we have at our fingertips and the computing power that we have has completely changed the way that we work, the way we communicate, we create, even the way that we find love. All of this changed because of one humble beginning, but it was flawed. It was slow and users could only read. And for example, newspapers were physically scanned and placed on a web page. Then Web2 was born and we saw the rise of mobile and social network growth. There was a boom across what we see today as some of the largest companies in the world. Meta, Amazon, Google, Apple, the list goes on. And due to Metcalfe's law and our understanding of network effects, we, the users, created the value in the network, but we did not own it. We gave it away for free and our data and content we gave became the price that we paid. Now it brings us to Web3. We're at the forefront of this new generation of the internet. And now we have the capabilities to have a truly digital asset, to show ownership, to execute contracts, to run organizations in a way that we have never been able to do before.